So Seed launched two new e-paper display modules called as ReTerminal E1001 and ReTerminal E1002 and both these modules got some really amazing tech in it. And I'm definitely sure after watching this video, you will definitely want one of these modules sitting on your desk. So first, let's see what we get inside the box. So this is how you'll receive the product with the ReTerminal E-Series branding on the top and on the back, we get this label which let us know which model it is. So this is currently E1001 model. And inside the box, we get to see the main display module first of all. And while holding it, it really felt heavy as this complete module is packed with the metal casing. So other than the display, we get this USB type A to type C cable with a 90 degree angle to easily fit behind the display. Then we get to see a stand, a mounting screw and a screwdriver as well. And in the end, we get this user manual as well. So yeah, that's the complete unboxing experience of ReTerminal E1001 and it's the same experience for ReTerminal E1002 as well. So that was the complete unboxing experience and now I'll let you know the specifications of these modules and after that I'll let you know how we can use these modules to display anything on it without writing a single line of code using SenseCraft HMI. So there's a lot to know about these modules in this single video but before that let me first thanks the sponsor of today's video because of which we are able to make this kind of videos for free. So let's hear from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by LTM and you know what, LTM not just provide world class PCB designing software but with LTM 365, they are helping us with the complete electronics product development with really useful collaborative tool. Let me explain how it helps. For example, if you are reviewing a schematic and want to ask a specific detail about the design to let's say your software team, well, you can do that here. And later, they'll get an email where they can open the design in a web browser and they can also get easy access to datasheet of the component to get further information and later they can update you everything on the same page. In addition, when you send your PCB design to manufacturer, even they can comment down the issues like if the wires are too close to the pad, even they can search for any specific component or a path like VCC3 and later they can visualize it in 3D to ensure complete accuracy before manufacturing begins. Really useful, isn't it? And you know, what's the best part of watching this ad? Well, if you click my link provided in the description of this video, you will not only get the access to free trial version, but you can also get flat 25% off on the license purchase. So do check out the link provided in the description and now let's move ahead with that video. Okay, so now let's discuss about the specifications. So these displays are powered by ESP32 S3 chipset with 32 MB of flash and 8 MB of PS RAM in it. Additionally, it got built-in temperature and humidity sensor, a microphone, buzzer, SD card slot, and a built-in 2000 mAh battery. Now here the only difference between the E1001 and E1002 displays is the panel size and its type. So E1001 got a 7.5 inch monochrome e-ink panel and the E1002 got a 7.3 inch full color e-ink panel. Now other than that, both these displays got some additional features in it. Like on the top, we get a screen refresh button and two navigation buttons as well. And on one of the side, we get this expansion port with couple of GPIOs. So that's the complete specifications of these displays. And now let's see how to use them. So now to use these displays, you need to go to Google and just search for SenseCraft HMI and just click on this link. Now here you need to make your account and log into your account. In my case, I already logged into my account. So I'll go to workspace and now we need to add a device. So click on add device. Now you need to give this device a name. So here I'm using the E1002. So I'll just uh, give the E1002 name to it. You can give any name to uh, the device. Let me need to have a pair code. So how we can uh, how we can find the pair code? Well, let me show you. So on your smartphone, laptop, computer or tablet anywhere, you just need to go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect with the Wi-Fi network created by by this device which is named by this re-terminal and once it's connected with this Wi-Fi network it will automatically open up this uh, portal where it will display all the nearby Wi-Fi networks available and you need to provide the uh, credentials of one of the Wi-Fi network through which this device can get the internet connectivity so I'll provide it click on connect and save this will be shared by uh, to this device and once this device is connected with the internet will get the pair code on the display itself so let's just wait for it 
Okay, so we got the pair code 547847. So let's just type it here 547847 and click on the create button. And this will successfully add our display and it is now successfully paired with our own account and it won't work with any other account as of now. Okay. And later after some times, we'll also be able to see the status of all the parameters here on the dashboard. So let's wait for uh, the status to be displayed. Okay, so we got it. So device is online with the battery level of 88%, temperature of 25.7 and uh, humidity of 66.1%. So we got all the data. So it's successfully communicating. Now we are good to go to uh, do all the magic with the Sensecraft HMI. So here we do have a couple of options available. So I'll go through uh, them one by one. First is the gallery option where you can display your images onto the display wirelessly over internet. How to do that? Well, let me show you. You just need to click on add photos, click on select photos and you need to select a couple of your images. I'll select three of them. Now, why three? Well, because this display can only display three images without SD card inserted. And in case if you insert the SD card, well, you can display up to 20 photos. Okay, that's the limit. So as of now, I haven't inserted the SD card. So I'm just uploading uh, three images. So after selecting uh, all those files, I'll close it. And here are all the three images and to visualize it, like how it will be visible into the display, you can just click on the preview button. It will kind of create a preview about how it is visible into the e-ink display. And this is how it will look like. And you can just uh, uh, watch out all the three images here. Okay. So after you're done with the preview, you can just click on deploy to device. And now this will deploy all the three images into the display over internet without any cable, without any local area connectivity. And you will be able to see all those images within a couple of seconds onto this display. Let's wait for it. Okay, it says deployed successfully. Now, okay, the screen started refreshing as well. So we'll be able to see the display one by one here. Okay, so that's the first image of full color image. It looks beautiful on this display. And to change to the next image, well, you can just click on this navigation button once and it will refresh the display once again and you know, will show the new image. Let's wait for that. That's the new image. And similarly, to see the third image, you can click this navigation button once again and it will show up the third image. And yeah, that's how you can display up to 20 different images onto this e-paper display uh, and can make your digital photo frame maybe without writing any single line of code. There are way more features in Sensecraft HMI. So let's discuss about them one by one. So here, one of the feature is called as AI generator, where by just writing a couple of prompts, it will generate an AI image, which you can later deploy onto this device wirelessly, uh, just like we do in our chat GPT. Okay, so I won't be covering this particular AI uh, feature, rather I'll be showcasing you another AI feature, which is, I feel is way more useful than this. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is canvas. So inside the canvas, you can like make any kind of uh, dashboard, which later be deployed onto this e-paper display. So as I, as I told you, this is a no code uh, platform. So there's no code required, but you can just drag and drop everything here. Just resize them, change the color of it. And later by just click off a button, it will be getting deployed. So here we have shapes, we have date, images, text, data. We can also draw the things. Okay. So we have, we have like everything available here. So I'll just undo everything. Now, what is most amazing part of this particular canvas is uh, there are two uh, things which I like the most. One is this device. So this not as, uh, not just let us write our own text, but it also let us display the current status of a couple of parameters. Like if I click on the battery, it will showcase the live battery percentage, which is 89 mentioned here. If I click on temperature, it will show current temperature 26. And if I click on humidity, it will show current humidity 68.7. The all this data is coming from uh, the built in sensor of this display. And these data point will updated uh, based upon the sensors reading. So it's a dynamic, not static. So after every interval, which is mentioned here, the same, uh, the data will be changed. Okay. That's the coolest thing. One more cool feature is the template. So we do have a couple of templates out of them. I'll focus on the YouTube channel template. So if I click on the YouTube channel, I am asked uh, to the parameters to be entered. One is the YouTube data API key or there is a YouTube channel identifier. To get the YouTube data API key, you can click on this link, Google Cloud Console and just follow a couple of steps and you will get the API key and you need to provide that here. After that, you need to provide your YouTube channel identifier. Let's uh, type our identifier, which is Techie SMS. After providing both these data, 
you just need to click on validate channel and it will fetch the data of your channel as you can see 155k that's my subscriber count and what next is after you click on the preview button it will automatically create a canvas a template to display the live subscriber counter and with just couple of clicks and by just clicking on apply to canvas it is applied to your canvas and this is not a, a static image this is completely dynamic like i can change the font size i can just drag and change the position i can also change the color of the shape let's just change it to red i can do it uh, here as well i can uh, also Okay, this is an image so i can also delete the image and put it the color image i can do anything this is completely uh, like all the elements are different you can drag and drop delete them edit them modify them do any whatever you want once you are satisfied with it you can just click on the preview to see how it will look like into the actual display so this is something uh, this is how it will look like now later before clicking on the deploy to device you need to make sure that the device is not in sleep mode currently it is showing in sleep mode so to wake this device up you just need to press this screen refresh button once and it will come online let's wait for it to come online and once it is online then only you can deploy to this device as you can see it's online so i can just deploy to device and now this will be deployed in couple of seconds so let's wait for that okay deployed successfully and it started refreshing and it's done with just couple of clicks we made our own youtube subscriber counter a live youtube subscriber counter which will be updated after the interval of oh, let's say 30 minutes but you can change it to as low as 5 minutes as well amazing right and not just the youtube subscriber we do have up other features as well like if i click on uh, this youtube button it will display this particular thing so i can not only display the subscriber but i can also display the title that's the name of my channel the subscriber count obviously channel id which i don't think we need it a custom url that's at the techie sms description and uh, views like total number of views 16.4 million and total number of videos that's 573 so all these parameters you can fetch from your channel of any channel you can fetch and later you can display it on the e-paper display so that's something really cool and what's more amazing is the ai generated so let's talk about what uh, how we can use this ai feature to do some cool stuff on the e-paper display first of all let me just delete this page okay now uh, in this ai generation what you can do is you can just type the prompt of any of the canvas that you want to design and it will make it for you for example let's say you are a restaurant owner and you need to create the menu for all the food items available at your restaurant so what you will do you will just go to this ai generator and type that uh, create a create a menu for my restaurant whose name is little india and i serve Punjabi and Chinese items also mention the rates in INR okay so that's the prompt which I have given if I click on the send button let's see uh, what it does and here is our menu as you can see it gave the title little india authentic punjabi and chinese cuisine so it was auto generated i haven't asked for this tagline then we have punjabi delights and chinese special uh, everything is in uh, non veg no it's not non veg everything but yeah we do have butter chicken with your dal makhani uh, and rate is also written in inr as i have asked for later all prices inclusive of tax fresh ingredients daily call on this number a random number <laughs> i don't know call on this number for orders okay so this is the complete uh, canvas created by just couple of uh, lines okay so we don't need to write the code for it rather we don't need to drag and drop the things as well it will do everything for us super convenient and all these things is completely uh, you know we can edit it we can change the colors for example if i click here and if i change color to red i can do that okay i can change the text size as well yes so let's just increase size to 48 and uh, yeah i can drag and i can do all the modifications possible and after i'm satisfied with this i can just click on the preview button to see how it will look like it will look like something like this so let's just wake this device uh, to be online 
and once it's online i'll just click on deploy to device or rather i can click on deploy to device and it will wait for the device to come online and once it's online yeah as you can see it started deploying the things okay deployed successfully and it started refreshing the screen so with the help of this ai generated now this display is not just for engineers like it's for makers artists or a restaurant owner it's like it's for everyone who want to use this display to display any kind of stuff on it so here is our complete little india our restaurant menu uh, ready to be you know stick in the wall of my restaurant or put it on the table of the restaurant yes and i can modify the rates or the menu anything over internet uh, but i'll just do the changes here and we'll click on the deploy button it will be changed here on the display wirelessly amazing so that was the uh, coolest feature and my favorite feature of the, of the sun, complete sensecraft hmi we do have one more thing called as a uh, web in which uh, you can deploy the website for example so here if i click on add page and letter uh, here for example i have provided the uh, url as google.com and click on the set button and later if i click on the preview button it will just showcase the google website it's like opening the website inside the e-paper display but it will not be dynamic dynamic website it will just a static image or the screenshot of that website and similarly you can add any uh, url and this feature is useful for displaying maybe stock price uh website where the stock price changes after every particular interval let's just say five minutes or you can use it to display the website of a uh, live cricket score where the score will be updated after every particular interval so in all those situations this feature will be useful you just need to provide the url and just click on the deploy button rest of everything will be handled by the e-paper display so yeah that was the complete uh, sensecraft hmi and that's how you can use this display even if you don't know coding at all so that's how you can use the E1002 e paper display with the help of Sensecraft HMI and the steps are exactly the same for E1001 display as well hence I didn't showcase in this video. Now these displays can not just be used with just Sensecraft HMI rather you can also use it with the help of terminal, uh, home assistant and Arduino ID as well but the Sensecraft HMI method was the best and the most easiest method to use this displays hence i made the video about that particular uh platform only but in case if you want me to make a video about using this display with any other platform dedicatedly well you can let me know in the comments and i'll think about making the video about that as well and now in case if you ask me that whether we should get these displays or not well i'm genuinely saying i do not have any single reason to say no to you because this is such an amazing product like she did uh, hard work on making the product as well as making that cloud platform, the software, the Sensecraft HMI as well. And with the help of Sensecraft HMI, this product is now not just only for engineers, but it's for everyone like makers, artists or any common person who want to use this displays for maybe personal reasons to make a digital photo frame or maybe professional reasons to maybe display the menu or display the rate of their product, anything like this uh, display is super easy to use for each and every person out there so this is for everyone it's not just for engineers that's what i wanted to say i'll leave the purchase link of both these displays down in the description so you can definitely check them out and get one for yourself as well and yeah that was it about this video and in case if you want to see more such amazing videos about such amazing electronics and iot product well uh, you should definitely subscribe our channel because we used to do this stuff regularly and yeah with that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me techie sms